good morning, Saints. It's Sister with a Testimony with Chief and the Mount of Olives, a.k.a. Hope on a Star. I wanted to share something with you all. I'm not sure if you're aware of um, in the Word of God and the Scriptures. Uh, there are so many, there's just so many instances of uh, spiritual warfare and what's going on behind the scenes and there are many people out there that are not aware of the fact that your soul, S-O-U-L, can be caged. And you can literally think that you're free and you're happy and everything's going on. And you'll have some sort of soul tie with someone and you won't have thought about them for years. You won't have, um, they haven't even crossed your mind and all of a sudden something's going on and they're just really strong on your mind and your, and your heart. It's usually toxic relationships. And um, you feel like something's just like, why am I talk? Why am I thinking this? Uh, usually it's because of a soul tie. And a lot of folks um, are seriously still in that relationship and have that soul tie they're not even aware of. And they wonder from time to time why this person's in their dreams or whatever. But they're literally a victim of a caged soul. So I wanted to show you uh, a for instance. And um, it's kind of kind of funny. But Hope, Mount, on, Mount of Olives, she's going to help you out with this and understand it. So check this out, saints. Hope is in her pen and she is gobbling up her breakfast and she got some of it out on the ground and um you know the pen is you know there's a, a large gate over there and there's a smaller gate there and then you come around here to this um main gate that i bring her in and out of and um it's really interesting because she has an open gate in front of her and all she has to do is walk out um, you know she just tromp right over chief she wouldn't have a problem with that but she's preoccupied with her gut the meat for belly and belly for meats uh, just simple question saints how many times has the door been opened for you to walk through it how many times has the gate been opened for you to walk through it receive your deliverance be completely free from the cage the pen that you're in sometimes it's you know a pigsty and um you're still in the pen or the pigsty wherever you know wherever you find yourself uh with whatever sin that so easily besets us as human beings the enemy is always ready to pounce and he takes us according to the scripture takes us captive at his will we were warned that the enemy goes around he roams around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour saints check this horse out she's so busy eating she's so distracted with filling her gut she doesn't care that there's an open gate for her to escape she will stand for hours and look on the other side of the fence wishing she could go out and walk around in the trees and go down the driveway and eat that beautiful green grass and then the gates open <laughs> yeah the gate is open guess what she ain't coming out. And I can guarantee you I've hobbled her. I've turned her loose out in the yard. No hobbles. And when it's feeding time, when she's got to get that fix, she's got to get that hit, she's got to get satisfied, she'll come right back to the barn. She'll come back to the gate because it's where she's comfortable. It's where she's familiar. And she will not leave. She... It, how do you figure, saints? This is a seriously like a caged soul. And and I understand she's a horse and she wants to eat and she's going to come through the gate if she gets done with that food. But the point is is that if you are in relationships and you never break the soul ties 
If you've, especially if you've been in toxic relationships, they're even worse. It's like your soul has been put in a cage and you, you can't even find the gate. You know, you can't even find the gate. You're so wrapped up in it and it's just such a mess. And you try to forget it, but it's still there. That, uh, that's when it becomes a, a caged soul. And there's so many uh, different ways of explaining this and trying to explain the fact that once you make these covenants with these uh, spirits, let me help you out, saints. Yes, I'm going to get the bucket so she doesn't step in it. Thank you. Good girl. See, she's, she's still got that opening. But she's going to pick up what she can off the ground. But, saints, don't let your window of opportunity when you're dealing, especially when you're dealing with familiar spirits, don't miss your opportunity when that gate is open and the Holy Spirit is trying to help you get out of that cage. Because the opportunity is going to pass. You're still going to be in there. The gate's going to shut. Or it could, it could even remain open and many people choose to stay inside the parameter of that cage because they either don't know the gate is open, they don't know that they have the keys to open the lock, to open the gate themselves, they don't know what their authority is to receive deliverance and freedom. Saints, I encourage you, if you have a soul tie, if there's a familiar spirit that is continuously hounding you and you just feel like something's missing well it's it's a soul fragment you have a soul tie with someone that needs to be broken um, and these can be with close family members ex lovers children bosses teachers any authority figures uh you know you exchange money with people there's a, a type of soul tie that is developed someone that lives in your house is not related to you soul tie so your soul becomes entangled sometimes enmeshed and it's a sign of a caged soul when you can't seem to shake this relationship you can't seem to shake the feeling that this person is still in your life you may have been divorced for 20 30 years and they still show up in your memories and and it's still toxic so saints i just encourage you today to study out familiar spirits soul ties uh, jonathan and david developed a soul tie as best friends so saints it's definitely biblical a lot of times i just want to remind you of things or show you something so that you'll go do your own research you can Google it, and once you Google it and you have an idea, you can find scriptures to back it up. You don't even have to Google it. You can just go get your concordance. Google familiar spirits. Google um, soul ties in the Bible. Just type in caged soul in the Bible. It's time to wake up. It's time to understand your authority. You have the keys to the kingdom. You have the keys. And the enemy cannot continually harass you and be effective over you if you are in a right relationship with the Lord and you are not actively sinning and you are obeying him. If you are obeying the Lord and not the enemy, if you are right with the Lord instead of in covenant with the enemy, you have a right to freedom. You have a right. And... You've already been given the keys to the lock that opens the gate. And for some of you, the gate is open and you won't come out of Egypt. You're more safe and secure with that mess than thinking you, you would have to face it to get over it. But saints, I'll tell you what, whether you're a caged soul, whether you have a soul tie, whether you're a meshed, entangled, whatever it is, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your Lord, your Savior, your King, your Master. He is the one that has given you the keys to His kingdom. If you are in right relationship and you are born again, you have the Holy Spirit. You've been given every key and opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity because you're distracted or because of lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, pride of life. Um, you know, hope is a horse. 
You're a human being. You have the ability to look things up, research, study the Holy Scriptures, and the Lord himself is the one that will set you free. You know, I can help you. Any deliverance minister can help you. But at the end of the day, you got to want to be delivered. You got to want to be free. And you got to want to come out of Egypt. And you got to want to come out of that cage. So I bless you today. I encourage you. If you are caged, if you are enmeshed, entangled, uh, whatever the encumbrance might be. Freedom is in Christ Jesus. Yahushua Hamashiach. So I leave you with this. It's Sister with a Testimony with hope and chief today. That you would come out from among them. You would come out of any cage, any pen, any enmeshment or entanglement that you find yourself in. Call out to the Lord and he will save you. 1 John 1, 9. If you confess your faults, if you confess to him, he is just, he is faithful to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. I love you. God bless you. Don't be afraid to walk through that gate if it's open. Later. Oh, don't let me forget to plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you to hide, protect, and keep you. Remember, saints, Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb, the word of their testimony, and not loving their life unto death. So I encourage you, share your testimony. Apply the blood of Yahushua. Be willing to die for what you believe. We're all going to face death. You might as well face death knowing that you'll never die. God bless you. I love you. Sister with a testimony.